Hey everyone, it's me, Zombie. Now I feel much better. I don't sound like a man like I did on my last video. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the global launch of Blood Strike. So finally, if you're in other regions where it didn't come out before, now you can play it. Um, I was able to play it uh, before it had fully launched because I had Android. And usually sometimes they uh, beta test or whatever on Android devices before they um, show it on the, what is it, Apple Play Store? I, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called. iTunes? No. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry if I insulted you. Uh, <laughs> but now you can be able to fully play it on iPhone or on uh, Android. And basically, I think... Bloodstrike had a good global launch. Um, they were able to fix a lot of mistakes that they had before, uh, releasing it fully, and they even tweaked some, uh, st here they call them strikers, um, or characters, uh, if you want to compare it to Free Fire or other games. And basically, I feel like they did a very, very good job. Now, the good thing about... Um, blood strike is that it basically has low system requirements and it's compatible with low end devices and you only need about two gigabytes of ram um and 600 megabytes of memory so it is actually a game that even if you have the lowest of the lowest phones uh almost little to no ram left you can still be able to play blood strike at its full effect and i heard that that's a thing that is apparently not very good with warzone a lot of people are having troubles downloading the files a lot of people don't have enough space uh their phones are getting uh heated up too much um so that's a definitely a plus one for blood strike on the global launch for sure um, I want to show you guys a couple of gameplay as well, but before I do that, I do want to let you guys know that, um, I might be playing Bloodstrike a little bit too much now compared to when I used to play Free Fire back in the day. Um, it has a very, very, very amazing animation for their gun skins. Let's go ahead and look at their stash. So the stash is basically like their store or their luck royale, like I said, if you want to compare it to Free Fire. Um, it has really, really good gun skins, in my opinion, that beat Free Fire out of the park, like, honestly. Um, here we have some <clears throat> as well, like the AK-47. Uh, we have the Power Search Ultra Stash for the M70 right here. This looks sick. I love it. You get for the Year of the Dragon for the M4A1. It does. Uh, one of the things that Bloodstruck does have is they have a lot of guns that are similar to the ones that are in Free Fire, like the Vector, uh, the M4A1, the AK-47, uh, the P90. Uh, but I feel like low key, Bloodstruck has better um, gun skins, in my opinion. Um, we have some here for the Kala, which is like, if I'm not mistaken, a sniper as well. We have uh, some here for the KAG-6. And then we have some here for the, um, as well, the VSS. Now, one of the things that I noticed here is that you can also buy or purchase skins through regular uh, Blood Strike currency, which is that little R that's up here on my screen. As you can see, I can try to... Um, basically spin and see if I can get the bow skin or the VSS skin. Um, basically, the currency that you buy is gold, which is the one that's right here on the uh, right-hand side, on the left-hand side of the free uh, currency. Now, the reason why I have 799 coin, it's because since the game just launched yesterday on the 21st, um, basically, they're giving everybody that's logging in f uh, basically 799 gold. So let's go ahead and go to events and you see free gold on launch. Um, I'm not sure if you can still claim it. 
Um, it actually expires April 7th. So yes, you actually can claim it. So all you have to do is basically reach level uh, 5 in order to claim 799 gold. Now, I claim 799, but you can claim up to 9,999. So it's basically it gives you like a random number of how much gold you can claim. Um, unfortunately, I wish I would have got a 9,999, but yes. Um, then you can basically choose one of these legendary skins that you want to. I chose the Scar, and basically what ha has to happen is I would have to be playing or basic basically check in to the game um, between yesterday and the 19th of April, and then on the, four on the 20th of April to the 19th of May, I would have to check in again to get the second... Uh, uh, or phase two, and then on between May 20th to June 18th, I would have to check in again and get phase three, and then I could get the skin for free, fully, fully, fully. There's a lot of stuff that's in the game at the moment. Um, you have strikers, which if you want to compare it to Free Fire, is like the characters with like abilities. What my favorite one at the moment is Ethan, because I do like... About, what I do like about um, Blood Strike is the movement, and Ethan is very, in a way, movement type character. Um, he's always running around. He has a shield that he puts out that where he, bullets don't penetrate, but they can still break your shield. And but I can do, I can shoot him through my end of the shield. Now, um, Ethan is very, like I said, Ethan is very like it's all about movement. And Bloodstrike is heavy, heavy on movement. Like, you're getting shot from the left, from the right, from the front, from the back. People are sliding to shoot you. People do, like, some sort of, like, parkour uh, movements to be able to, uh, you know, basically kill you. And it's, it's a little hard, honestly. Playing Bloodstrike is a little hard. But if you have the skills, if you have the, the the your favorite characters, and you're able to modify your weapons to where you get the best loadout, I th I feel like you'll be good, because one of the things that is is different from Free Fire is the fact that you get to modify your own loadouts. So let's go to the KAG just so you can see here. You can be able to basically modify, and you'll see here. If it's good for your um, weapon modification class, or if it's if it basically lowers, as you can see here, minus two recoil, minus one range. So you can decide that okay, you know what? I'm not gonna apply that to my weapon slot. I'm just gonna keep the assault muzzle, or and then as as you level up your gun by using it basically. And by getting eliminations, then you can be able to unlock more modifications for your uh, gun, making it stronger. Now, if you don't know what to do, like me, um, they do have a recommended, uh, basically, slot to where you, it'll be like, oh, we recommend these for your gun. Then you can, like, apply it. And what it does, it'll just apply that modification for your weapon. Once you go into the game, then basically you'll be able to get it from a crate box and then you'll get it with all the modifications that you see here. So I like that because I'm not really into like, oh my God, like what do I put on my gun and stuff like that. I just rather go through the recommended phase. Of course, then later I'm going to be able to be like, you know what, how can I make my gun better? And then I'll just probably watch videos of people doing the best classes. But right now we're just going to go to the recommended ones. Um... Let me show you a little bit of gameplay. Now, the gameplay that I'm going to show you, I'm on mobile, and you guys know that I am not good at playing mobile games, uh, which is the reason why I'd rather play it on PC. On PC, you can play it on Bluestacks, or you can actually go to the actual Bloodstrike uh, website, and you can download their, their PC version. In my opinion, it has the best graphics, and you're into that. Um, and I'm all about best graphics, so I downloaded the... Bloodstrike website PC version instead of downloading it through Bluestacks because in my opinion it looks much much better uh, But the gameplay that I'm going to show you is through mobile uh, Like I said, I'm not really good at it, but I want you to guys I want you guys to see a little bit of How it looks like 
in game. Uh, so let's go ahead and see that. So I'm just here basically with a team of, uh, it's four of us. You can see my teammates up on the left hand screen. I'm just running around looking at the guns. Uh, you see my character in the bottom, Ethan, right there. I have my shield that I can deploy, um, which I haven't. And then I don't know why, but I got stuck a little bit on the aiming down sight. And then my teammate unfortunately goes down. I do drop one person, my other teammates in that car. <laughs> But I do end up dropping one person. I don't see where the other person is shooting at me from. I'm like, where? what's going on? And then, unfortunately, I get down very quickly. And then, I think this was funny to record because then my team... He's he's doing, like, an elimination. And then my teammate just comes and basically hits him with a car. So... <laughs> and then my teammate decides to run away as I'm looking at him like... Oh, but he's getting shot at. As you can see, the bullets on the on the ground, which I really like that. It actually animates bullets hitting objects very, very nicely. So that was me. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well. Um, I did I did eliminate one person, though. So that was pretty good, I guess. But, um, yeah. So <laughs> that's how it looks on mobile. On PC, it actually looks much, much, much better. Especially if you download it through the Bloodstrike website compared to Bluestacks. Because Bluestacks will still give you kind of sort of like that mobile graphic kind of look. Instead of like the actual like, hey, you're playing it on PC. Let's give you PC settings, you know, or PC graphics. Um, which I reach really, really, really like. Um, for me, the guns feel very realistic. They do have recoil, which is, you know... A realistic thing for actual like real guns um, I do like uh, the realism of it as well I like how they sound a lot of the guns are very very distinct and unique with their own um, basically gun sounds uh, for me it's very smooth to maneuver through the game it doesn't actually bug out as much as free fire does sometimes or as much as i heard warzone bugged out a lot yesterday on their launch um i do like that they do have the sliding effect kind of like how farlight just released kind of like how warzone has as well um of course they have zip lining um very very fluid in my opinion um, I feel like they do have, if you're a type of person like myself that likes to spend, uh, you know, a couple of cash in, in video games, I feel like they have very reasonable prices, uh, compared to other mobile games, uh, which we just heard that, just found out, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday that Free Fire, um, basically increased their prices in their store um which i feel like is not a good business strategy especially with bloodstrike and warzone uh coming out the next day so i don't know why free fire did that but uh in my opinion i think bloodstrike does have a pretty good reasonable uh prices and i feel like that's good especially with you know the fact that it just launched and it might get some people to actually uh, spend some cash in the game. Um, also, I do feel like the devs do communicate a lot. I've been on the Discord since I knew that Bloodstrike could be uh, downloaded on Android. I've been on their Discord. They talk a lot. They're always asking for feedback. They're always as well... Um, what do we need to fix? What is lagging? What is bugging out? What is not working? And and they're always pushing out patch notes of the things that they're fixing. So they actually do pretty much care about the stability of the game, uh, which I think it's very, very cool. I do like the fact that it's first person shooting as well. A lot of you guys know that Free Fire is third person. Um, I prefer the first per uh, person shooting only because of the fact that I've played a lot of first person person games uh so for me it's much better um one of the biggest things though is that it's not pay to win all the sk skins everything everything the modifications for your guns the upgrades anything 
you can basically do it for free. Of course, the, the only thing that costs are the skins, but it's just an aesthetic feel. Everything else that you need to upgrade in your gun to make it better, to have less recoil, to make it more stable, anything, is, is basically by you leveling up your gun through playing in game, through using that weapon in the game. Um, nothing else, no, no actual money that you need to spend in order for you to be, have like the best gun available. Like that's what I really, really like about uh, blood, a strike. And I hope they keep it like that, honestly, um, for the duration of the game or forever or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I really, really like it, honestly. Um, I feel like this game is probably going to be a top uh, game for the year. It actually, if I'm not mistaken, it actually post, uh, they actually posted on um, their Discord that Google ended up, um, well, that Bloodstrike actually ended up making it to the Google Play Store's recommended list in multiple countries, and it's just been out for 24 hours. So that's already speaking volumes for the game. It has amazing reviews at the moment. And that's crazy for a game that's just been released for 24 hours that Google is making it part of their recommended list already. So that's already speaking pretty good about the game. So if you guys want to play Bloodstrike with me, this is my ID right here, 2767 36 26 59 Add me as a friend. Of course, I'll, I'll be able to accept your friend request and we can play together as long as you don't play Ethan. Because about the thing about the uh, strikers or the characters is that uh, once you click a character, somebody else cannot get that character or their skills. So don't play Ethan because that's, that's me. I want to play Ethan. But <laughs> let me know what you think about Blood Strike. Are you trying it out? Are you not trying it out? What uh, Do you like how it feels? Is there something that you don't like? Um, do you want to play with me? Um, it has a lot, a lot of stuff, honestly. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, uh, we'll definitely be playing this game. We'll definitely be actually streaming it as well. Why not? Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.